Well, I got another po uh, box from the post office today. And it says DBI um, Dooney. It's a Dooney. And let's open it up. I'm kind of excited about seeing this one. And when I'm thinking, I'll show you after I get it open what I'm thinking about using it for. There's the packing slip. I don't know if this is going to work for me. It's coated cotton. And, of course, it was on sale. It's the giraffe crossbody pochette. And look how nice that's packed. And when I'm thinking about this is for my uh, telephone, when I go for a walk, it might be a little bit big. I do have a small leather bag. I should have been together and had that out here. All right, I'm going to put you on hold. I'll be right back. We'll check it out. Hold on. Okay, this is something I could use to go on a walk here on there. Um, this little leather bag, which you've seen before. And this is a Thomas Leathers. And, of course, I probably got it at the church resale store for a buck or two. I'm terrible. That's usually how I've bought things my whole life is, you know, resale and all that. So <laughs> I didn't get into buying anything new until I got into Pandora or, you know, within reason. Um, and here's my um, pan. This is a Pandora and Trolby mix bracelet. One of my favorites. Um, I can't tell you right now if it's my favorite troll Dora right now because I got another troll bead that I really love too, a couple of them. But I, this is this is really a beautiful bracelet, and I love it. And it goes so nice with this brown. But I could use this for going for walks, but this was on sale, and it's a coated cotton dooney. Coated cotton, and I don't have any of those. And let's see, it's adjustable strap. And 108 is the list, crossbody pochette, pochette and the uh, giraffe. Now, I think I ended up paying, let me see, how much was this? $48? Yep, it was $40. $40, but the night I didn't buy enough, so I had $7.50 shipping. That was kind of stupid. But... Um, anyways, this is it. Let's see what the inside looks like. Nice inside. I, this, this feeling is kind of odd for me. I think I like would like leather better. I like the soft. So, let me think about whether I'm going to keep this one or not. I shouldn't be that way, but... And let's take a peek at, oh, look at that pretty strap. Come on, I hope I'm in focus here. Jeez, I hope the whole thing wasn't out of focus. Um, so it would have been $40, but I got messed up on the shipping. Okay, where's the measurements? And it is six and three quarters roughly six and a half by nine and two and a half across hmm I have to I think this can be shortened a bit I guess it's the coated cotton that's kind of throwing me off leather nothing to think about Okay, let me go get... I, I used my other bag the other day. I brought it with me to the car to go to the post office. <laughs> Left it in the car. Okay. My zip zip. And that's in the black lizard zip zip. And I'm really looking at these bags. Let me move this stuff out of the way. 
Ooh, I don't want to get no wet on my bag. These here are my newest finds. Some of my older, newer finds now in the lake. I found this thing floating around. It's an a unopened pine cone. I hope that's focusing. Cute little thing. Oh, and this. I have no idea what this is. Let me make sure the focus is on. I don't know if it's old or new or if it's for... A, looks like a strap for a boat of some sort, a strap of some sort. I have no idea. I haven't asked anybody either what it could be. I don't know. I just find things and pick it up. I've always picked up little rocks and stuff. Okay, back to purses. So, my Dooney. And I'm looking at them. I was, I've been thinking about the material and quality of these. Like this bag was 195, 100, or 115, something like that during a pandemic. So it's probably even more expensive because maybe you should be keeping that money for food. You never know what might happen. But, anyways, I love this bag. The quality is really nice. Uh, a coach, you know, they've got that nice pebbled leather. I have to get a pebbled leather bag before I can really make a really good uh, comparison between the Dooney and the Coach. But I will say that the Dooney is price point is much better price. Um, a Coach, um, a retail Coach bag, if you found one on sale, maybe at the outlet was 70% off, you can finally probably find one for 150 and that would be a Five hundred dollar, four ninety five bag, and um, but this, and I think these retail for two ninety eight. But nobody ever pays the retail price, do they? You know, he's, I suppose sometimes you do. Two seventy eight. But what did I get this one for? I can't remember. I think because I got one for one fifteen, one for ninety five, and one for one oh seven. Yes, I do have another one on the way. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know. I'm going to think about this one. I really don't need this. I just cold it. I'm going to think about it for a while, though. I did return that uh, ostrich um, Brenna. That just wasn't going to work for me at all. And I hate kind of returning them, but um, someone said keep it and move on. And um, I know I wanted my money back. And I really, I've been, you know, I want to thank everyone for watching my videos and commenting. And I've got a really a lot of comments I need to answer back. And I'm sorry, I, I really have been really bad at answering people right now. And that isn't very nice. And I, I just want you to know that I do appreciate, you know, you're watching my videos and giving me thumbs ups and and uh, I hope to do a good job. Sometimes I do better than others, but um, I need to really answer back those messages, and I don't know when. I just, you know, I think when I find a quiet time to do it, but God, there's just too much excitement going on <laughs> with the garden growing. It rained a lot yesterday, and I swear those little tomatoes, they shot up about two inches. Now let's go take a look over there. Don't mess everything up here. These, these little tomatoes here, they just grew huge. And my lettuce, I move that over here. This is, I'm not gonna buy any more lettuce at the grocery store for the time being. And I know they're really crowded in there, but I don't care, it's a planter, it's my garden, I can do any way I want. The parsley, my tarragon's not doing too well. This, the new stuff looks like it might grow. And there's the French lab, or this is the uh, lavender. Let's see if I can. I guess that smells okay. It just it doesn't appeal that much to me. These are Roma tomatoes, and I'm going to have to put a uh, cage around them. And the geranium here. Here's a broken off piece of geranium. I just stick in the in the in the dirt there, and it came, probably came off of one of these. There's a new geranium and an overwintered geranium. 
and let's see this is my the herb basket my last video I told you that this is the rosemary the sweet basil and the Greek oregano and that's what I use to cook a lot this year I threw some yellow in those baskets and these are peppers I got red pepper and then poblamo peppers. That's what they make chili rianos out of. And I love those peppers. Okay, and here's more herbs. This is thyme, mojito mint, and this one is sage, savory sage. And then this too is a basil. It's Aristotle basil. It looks so different. I don't know how it compares. Mm, it's, it smells pretty good. Probably doesn't seem as strong as the other. And here I threw another couple uh, geranium stalks in there, and those do roots. Maybe I'll have a place for them to overwinter them. And more peppers here, and these tomatoes. And again, these are all in here too tight, but I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. They'll get some sun, and I'll get enough tomatoes, I think, to eat. And more peppers, and more peppers, and a violet. Okay, all right, and the lake. But anyways, oh, there's Tiger. Let's see if we can get him. Is you getting all settled into the chair? Are you getting all settled in? Oh, such a nice baby. Tiger. Tiger, you say hello. You know, people that photograph animals, you know, they got all the right tools and the little things to catch their attention. No, not me. Okay. Let's go back to these bags over here. And that's the new one. I really love the zip zips. They're really, whoops nice there's my stuff in there and they have those you talk about the gussets so you can open it up and i usually have five things in here but now i've switched to six makeup my my hobo billfold and now this is number six now in here it's a little container from elf and there's a, a charger in there and my earbuds and this works for a great size and here's my little Dooney key, key holder, and my brush, and the phone. So that makes five. One, two, three, four, five, and here's the new sixth thing. So that fits in there real nice, and it doesn't feel real heavy or anything. Okay, that's my story today. And uh, I'll think about this, but see, it's not real supple. Whereas this other one, I already got some water on the on it, is is really supple. There, what have we got in this day and age? My rubber gloves and a mask. <laughs> you don't know when you're going to need those. You always got to have one of those on. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day. All right, bye.